I'm on Delib Zewa, and today our guest is Tariq Barwani, and he's the founder of Knowledge Oman. Welcome to the talk. Hi. Everyone in Oman must be thinking about the hacking right now. So what would you say, if I asked you, why would someone want to hack and be a hacker? Okay, why would someone want to be hacked? It's because people find it, uh, it would make them look like they're popular or uh, uh, you know, make them known as they are a guru of the technical field, being able to access and penetrate into systems and cause destructions. That's what uh, uh, people would normally like, uh, uh, or people would do, mm -hmm. as far as hacking is concerned. Okay, and what actually happens technically when someone is uh, hacking? Okay, it, it really, really depends, but the general theme is that people would access into a system mm -hmm. and cause destruction, mm -hmm. whether delete the application, being the website, for instance, okay. or a change the looks of the sites, or get information from the websites that is pertaining to the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the website in question. The current incident we've seen in Oman, from the sources I've heard, is it's not attacking uh, the content, but it's actually the domain name. Um, so obviously the person had a reason, okay. and that's to make a statement probably. Yes, what has happened in Oman uh, recently was the people that has hacked, or the person who has hacked into the website basically has changed the looks of the website, mm -hmm. has replaced the cover of the website, but has not uh, accessed in and got in any information from the website, no, just changed the website, and because they had a motive behind it. Now you are an expert when it comes to IT and the domains, the websites, and online business. Uh, Tarek, what would you say, what should we learn from this experience? Okay. There is a lot of things to learn. The first thing is never be complacent that your website is always secure. And, and, uh, and also to learn that there are people out there are looking into hacking or getting into your website. What one needs to do about it is to ensure their website is always updated. When I say updated, it means the infrastructure in which the website was created is updated and the necessary patches have been applied. That way, it would not allow the hackers to be able to hack into your website. And so it's a lesson one should start from today. Yes, indeed. Not only today, every time, periodically, looking after their website, ensuring A, that it is updated, B, they also keep on watching their website because if they don't do that, uh, what could happen is once their website has been hacked, others uh, once, once uh, others or visitors visit their website, then you know, it, it won't look good for, that, for the owners um, of the website. So we should be monitoring. We should be monitoring and we should also be ensuring that we're putting the necessary updates to ensure the website is secured. Okay. So with that note, it's a big thank you to you, Tarek, for Very enlightening well. us on being a hacker or hacking any of the domains or the websites. Thank you indeed and wish you the best. Thank you, Thank you very much. Tarek Barwani, founder of Knowledge Oman. Thank you for joining us.